bench up. It's just like super thick, brushy, nasty cushion. There's hardly any trees. It's almost all just solid underbrush. And there's toe trails just pounding in and out of that. What do you think, Jake? I think it's time to kill something, bud. Oh, the camera runs back into the arm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just shortened it up. How this arm came down before, and when you try to spin the camera, yeah. your camera would run back into the arm, you know? I like it. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's a little, a little trickier to pack, but... Yeah. Much of an issue. Definitely get some extra length. He's making up all the sandwiches here. Yeah, I had a, I had a bunch of them near, clucking near me yesterday morning. That was crows, uh, turkey buzzards, ducks, you name it. Every 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, well, you can hear it. It's usually only at night. Well, it's like, well, shit, the, like, the birds travel through the here. Birds. The deer got to travel through, right. you know. Funnel for a bird. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of business. All right, I think I got everything that I need. What are you, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Are you gonna make sure? Yeah, yeah, we did ours yesterday. I just gotta go hop in my tree. <laughs> stand for the first time in Ohio. Yeah. It makes a huge difference though. Dude. You see I got that back down there. See what I did was I put a car or, uh, a carabiner right here from or a loop from here to here. Yeah. With a carabiner that hangs out the other side and it clips right to this. Okay. I'll show you. Yeah. One night when we're packing it out. I got a got a pretty good setup going. Yeah. I'm gonna take a, about a 45 minute walk back in. It's not fun. I do my stretching, getting old. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna walk right past that doe. Someone must have hit her and couldn't find her. It's be a warm one. It's already still like it's probably like what 60 degrees. Yeah, maybe like 55 down in this hole. Look at that old guys doing their stretches. <sighs> Tony's like. Screw you guys, you don't even know. <laughs> oh my god. This gets rougher and rougher every year, Charlie. It does, too. <laughs> At least our, our system keeps getting lighter. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys on the tree. We got a long walk. steps up and then up above that is the very top of the ridge it's just a real skinny ridge you know maybe five ten yards across and deer do travel that up there as well but there's just not a lot of room for them to leave sign or to you know have any type of movement other than just go forward 
So if they're traveling, just... That's what I'm talking about, baby. Big ol' fresh rub. Right on the bench. Well, it's a little windy right now. I just got set up in the spot that I'm gonna sit in this evening. And, uh, I'm kinda going for broke here. I haven't seen a deer. Got a little spot cleaned out here and brushed in to sit in the rest of the day. I don't even know what time it is. I haven't looked. It's got to be like one o'clock somewhere in there. Um, I didn't spend much time getting down, getting packed up, and getting over to the other side. But it's what I got here. Is there's a bench over here along my left. It goes like this, and then it steps back up, and from this bench up. It's just like super thick, brushy, nasty country. There's hardly any trees. It's almost all just solid underbrush. And there's doe trails just pounding in and out of that. And um, there's two or three different spots where them does are just pouring in and out of that real, real thick stuff. And I'm kind of right here on the edge. You can just see that edge right there. It goes all the way down and then all the way up through there is just super, super thick cover. So there's one beat trail that comes right down through the bottom of that little valley. And then there's one on top of that ridge right there. And then there's one that kind of comes out like right, right here, by like eight, 10 yards and drops down. They all go to that bottom right there. There's the main drainage down there in the very bottom, and we're not very far above that, maybe, maybe 50, 60 feet, maybe a little more than that, but not much.
We got ourselves a buck on the ground. Booyah! We got ourselves a buck on the ground, boys! Oh! Tony and Charlie are uh, just coming in here. They're not going to believe where the hell I shot this thing at. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I heard him crashing over there, and that's what it was. I walked up on him. He's dead. But when I checked the arrow, check this out. Freaking arrow. There isn't any blood on it. There's guts. I think it was because he was quartered too. It went in through the lungs and then also in the guts and the guts wiped it off, but it didn't go a hundred yards. Hundo hundo. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you haven't hit it. sit here yet, have you? This is the one from yeah. last year. Yeah. He's a stud. It, no, he, it's not blades. Oh, it ain't. It's not blades. He actually doesn't have that big of brow titans. They're only like maybe three inches long. Huh. So, he started yeah. out over here, and then he made his way up here, and I started grunting at him like, hey, he's not coming up here. I want to grunt at him. Like, dude, and then like 15 minutes went by, and all of a sudden, here he comes walking right up. Wow, just turn around, come <laughs> right back. Just come right back, man. Wow. <laughs> what the? 
There ain't a single. What's that back there? Oh, uh, my strap. There ain't a single ounce of blood on this thing. Dude, he bled pin Dude, drops. Shit. Pin drops. The last 20 yards he poured it out. You must have fucking heart shot him, man. I didn't heart shoot him. No? No, I think what happened was I hit him through the guts, and the guts got plugged up the exit. And so he was done. He wasn't, he wasn't, he was only bleeding out of the entrance. But then I get to a spot over there was a big glob of blood. It's all lung blood. I'm like, oh, dude, that was him I heard rolling over there. I got a backup light. Do you? I don't want to tear my skin down. Okay, I can come get that tomorrow. Though. The B stand. First buck out of the B stand, baby. All right. Big one. In a marsh, too. Big one. Hell yeah. All right. I'll yeah, uh, leave this stuff here. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Let's leave it right down here. We got to come back up this way. Right? Right there, baby. <coughs> right there, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stinky. Stinky. Oh. How about that? How about that, boys? Mm -hmm. That's one down. Oh my God, he stinks. Jeez. Holy hell. Yeah. Dude, how about that? That's a dandy. That's a dandy. <sighs> no idea. Let me see, Andrew. Let's do a freaking neck on that. Yeah, hit him right there. Smoked him. Good shot. Smoked him. Pin Great drop shot. blood for freaking 80 yards. In the last like 30, maybe 40 yards, it was he was bleeding pretty good. I heard him rustling around in here. It was like maybe 15, 20 minutes after I shot him. I heard him rustling around like he was giving up. God, what an awesome freaking awesome experience. I saw him down in the marsh. I know I, I didn't get him on film. I, I don't think I did. But I whipped the camera around and hit record. And as he was walking through the edge there, I was about 70, 75 yards off the marsh there. And uh, there's this, like, you know, one area, maybe 60, 70 yards wide where they would come up. And once I realized he hadn't turned in yet, I grunted at him three times. And um, I didn't hear anything for like 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden he decided to come up. And by that time, I'm shooting directly to my left. My stand's pointing at the camera. I'm shooting directly left. So I whipped the camera around. I kind of was like, well, I'm not going to be able to get very good footage of this. But I just zoomed out and... He come walking in and it's about a 22 yard, 23 yard shot and uh, hit him good. I can't believe I, I got down and the arrow was uh, covered in a little bit of guts and there was no blood on it. I was really, really worried. Actually, I was just texting the guys. I followed the blood trail for about maybe 60, 70 yards and uh, it was just pin drop. But I'm like, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. I just reviewed the footage. I was like, I saw where I hit this deer. I know I got him right behind the shoulders, and I did. Problem was the exit was a little bit lower and further back because, like I said, he was quartered too. So I honestly thought it was a gut shot, and I was ready to get out for the night. And just as I had texted that to them guys, I looked up, and my headlamp's like almost dead, but I could see a pool of blood. I walked up, it was all lung blood, and then I started kind of walking a little bit more, and he took me maybe another 20, 30 yards, and he was piled up. I thought I heard him over here giving up, <clears throat> thrashing around, and sure as heck, that's what he was doing, so he was trying to get back out to this marsh, but uh, obviously didn't make it, so got a lot of work to do, we're going to get back and celebrate, and uh, the boys got, uh, they got uh, a few more bucks to get down, so good way to start Ohio, huh? Alright. He's got a better light than me. I got my other light.